I'm gonna run you through some shit, okay? Yep. And this is just me and you, so I want you to focus on me. I'm gonna hit you with something, and I wanna show you if he worked for me. If he worked for me, I wanna show you what I would do with him. Because you've got guys that work for you, right? Yeah. So we're in the office. I'm like, hey, listen, you ready to go kill it today? Hell yeah. You ready? Cool, I'm gonna hit you with some shit. You ready? I wanna make sure you're out ready on the field. Hey, I appreciate it, but I don't want holes in my roof. Go. Before we even put solar in your house, we're gonna do we're gonna do inspection to figure out if the home does qualify before we do it. But generally, what happens is uh, we'll identify that before then, and you will actually give you a ten-year uh, workmanship warranty on the roof to figure out. And it might rain before then, so if it does leak, then we'll be able to find out before your year your warranty. Expires. Yeah, but I just don't want holes in my roof. Watch now. By the way, dude, what's the difference here? I'm telling you, preparation. See, he's just not prepared. That's all. If you were prepared, that wouldn't stump you at all. And then the better, the more, the more prepared you are, and the more confidence you have. Then pretty soon you can start making up on the spot without even knowing anything. Yep. yep. And that's when you get really good. Yeah. Listen, this. And he told me I don't want no holes in my roof. I said, bro, you already got holes in your roof. <laughs> How the fuck they put the roof on the house? Well, dude, like, like, how's, how's Santa Claus gonna get in, bro? <laughs> trying to tell me is you don't want a shaggy job done. Is that right? Yes. Oh. See, boom. They don't want holes in the roof. There already are holes in the roof. Let's go. Listen. No objection. Hold, hold on, but listen to me. What about, hey guys, can I ask a question? Listen. One cell, what does it pay in your industry? One cell, what does it pay? Like six days. Like, grand. watch. What, what if you could get another one? What if you get another one? What if you get another one? What if you get another one? Hey guys, what's going on? It's Andy. A lot of you leave comments telling me that you need help. Do me a favor. I'm going to tell you the best way to get a hold of me. Shoot me a text message right now. 918-210-0254. 918-210-0254. I'll help you with whatever you need. I got your back for life. Let's get back to the video. You don't have to be me, but you're going to have to get crazy. Yeah. You're going to have to, man. Not, not only that, the time's going to pass anyways. Oh, yeah. yeah, but the time's going to fucking pass anyways. You know what's crazy? Here, tell me that objection. I'm going to be having the first second. Oh, hey, hey, Brad, I don't want holes in my roof. Oh. <laughs> So there's an old term. You ever heard that saying, how to get your point across in 30 seconds or less? Yeah. Okay, this is where people lose interest. Have you ever heard that term, earn the right? Yes. Okay, like when we were in sales guys, when we were younger, Brad, we had to earn the right to ask for people's business. Would you agree? Yeah. You didn't ask for somebody's business when you didn't earn the right to ask for it, okay? So what you're doing, every 30 seconds that you're talking to somebody, you're earning the right to get 30 more seconds. Yeah. You're earning the right to get 30 more seconds. You're earning the right. So if you find a dead 30 seconds or a dead one minute, you just fucked up that whole cell. Mm -hmm. Dead space. Dead space is the death of closers. Mm -hmm. A lot of you, you're not snipers. What you are, you're machine gun sprayers. 70% of the shit you say is fucking good, but the 30% that's fucking not good, it fucks up your clothes. And people, once they disconnect and they lose interest, they're out. How can you keep my mind running and racing the entire time while we're together? This is simple. How old are you? 32. 32. How long do you think you're going to live? Average man lives 72 years old. Think you make it there? 80. Cool. So if he lives 72 years old, that's 40 years, right? What's your utility bill right now? Like 80 bucks. 80 bucks. So let's say 100 bucks. That's 1,200 a year, right? Yeah. So 1,200 a year times what? 40 years you said he's going to live? Mm -hmm. 1,200 times 40. What is that? It's 50,000 bucks. $45,000. If the system is less than, than $45,000, he's saving the difference. Does that make sense? Now, what's the chances of that, that utility bill staying the same at 100. Zero. It's not existing. Would you agree within the next 10 years it'll at least go up to 200 or 300? Yes or no? Yes. Okay, so now it's going to be an $80,000 by the time you die, or it's going to be 120000 by the time you die. If the system is 30 grand, or if it's 40 grand, or whatever it costs, how much did you save? If it goes up 3x, you just saved yourself $80,000. Would you agree? Yes. I don't see anybody else on your front porch trying to save you $80,000. Yeah. Okay, it's that simple. Every Everybody, how to get your point across in 30 seconds or less. I will tell you, this is the big common area, area that I see. Salespeople are unprepared, which means what they do is when they speak, they say dead space shit. When they say dead space shit, even though you started out so good, you got in the house, hey, what's going on? We're like family. You sit down, you go into the presentation, and you fuck it up. You feel me?
Hey guys, I just wanna tell you, you're the true one percenters. You made it till the end of the video. Do me a favor, share it with the friend that wants to go to another level. Make sure you like the video, comment below so I know who you are. Set your notifications and then subscribe to the channel. We got daily sales training videos dropping. I'll see you soon.